So did you have to fight all those crowds to go out and run out and get food because they were threatening a lockdown or a pandemic? You're going to learn next why you shouldn't have to do that and how. Stay tuned. So welcome back to Survival Preparedness for Beginners. And on today's video, we're gonna be discussing, uh, uh, hopefully, one of the main reasons is uh, why we need to make sure that we're prepared. Well, as we all know and have lived through, um, over the last, say, two to four weeks, depending on where you're at, you know, the mass pandemic of uh, the bug and the mass messes at the stores. You know, people in there, you know, they're fighting over food. They're fighting to get vegetables, canned goods, paper towels, and toilet paper. I still don't get that, but hey, that's it. that is what it is. Um, you know, meat. And, you know, if you're trying to stock up for, you know, two weeks, they're telling you 15 days, um, you know, the whole nine yards, you know, it was just a chaotic mess, you know, chaos. Perfectly example of chaos. Anybody wants to know what chaos is, you just went through. Lord have mercy. Soup aisle. I think it's uh, Armageddon or something. So this is what we can do to try to get around that. Now, this should really put a fire under a lot of people out there to make sure that you have at least, at the bare minimum, a two-week supply of food and supplies in your house at all times. Because you never know when something's going to come knocking on your door. So... This was a good learning experience for a lot of people out there. A lot of people look at people that prep and that are called preppers, you know, and we plan for emergencies. You know, you're prepped for emergencies. You know, if you live somewhere, I've said it in several different videos, if you live somewhere where you have certain types of either natural disasters or so on and so forth, um, you prep for that, you know, you don't want to be one of these people that have to run to the store and try to fight through the crowds and wait in some ridiculous long line to buy a pack of toilet paper. I still just don't get that. What was up with the toilet paper? You know, I mean, the toilet paper went first before even the food. You have to have the food to generate, to have to use the toilet paper. I don't know. Toilet paper, wow. It's one pack. But anyways, so, you know, you need to start off on a plan, you know, and you need to put this plan in place as soon as possible once uh, we get through this storm that we're in now and this bug is past us and gone. And we, we want to make a plan on, okay, um, you know you're going to need you know, cleaning supplies and all that kind of stuff. You always just keep an extra little bit on hand. You know, if you're on a tight budget, like I have said before, it's so easy to do, especially if you go to a store that does buy one, get one. The one that you get for free goes into your, your, your storage, into your stockpile, you know, your emergency supplies, you know, and that can be, I mean, because, I mean, they run all kinds of sales. That can be everything from paper plates, and depending on the time of year, you know. Each, each season has its different things that they put out as, you know, buy one, get one. You know, you want to make sure you got extra coffee. You know, at least one can of extra, you know, coffee. You know, I'd say probably 90, 95% of people out there drink coffee. You know, and if you don't, then you want to have extra tea bags. 
then, you know, if you're a tea drinker, hey, I have nothing wrong with that. I got I got extra tea too because my wife, she likes tea. Man, I don't mind a cup of tea once in a while, you know. But the point is, is we just went through something that was drastic. <clears throat> and we all seen it. Everybody out there seen it and a lot of people out there witnessed it firsthand. And so this should be a real eye opener to get people to start prepping and have at least... Even the federal government says you should have an, at least a two-week emergency supply of food supplies and emergency supplies, okay? <clears throat> now, you don't need to run out and buy it all at one time. Spread it out, make you a list, you know, and go buy that list, you know? And um, at this point, you know what you have used in the two weeks that, you know, Everybody's been stuck in their homes or whatever, you know, you, you know how much you used of what products, you know, did I give through more of this than that or, you know, because you have to remember, you know, everybody's not, you know, at school, at work and everything else. Everybody's stuck in the house. So everybody, you know, you get bored or whatever. And the next thing you know is you want to eat, you got the munchies, you want a cup of coffee, you drink more coffee. Um, you know, it, it's just the whole, the whole thing. So, to get back to the main point, make sure that you have at least your two-week supply of emergency food, supplies, and medical. And this way here, you can avoid some of the madhouse when it hits, because not everybody's going to do it. You know, I mean, you may have people out there say, oh yeah, we're going to start and do this and that. And it's going to be put to the wayside because they think nothing's ever going to happen again. And, you know, uh, if you watch some of my videos, um, that just isn't how it works. You know, there's a lot of things that are going on, a lot of things that are changing. So I'm urging everybody out there, you know, you may want to sit down and you have the time now, especially if you're not working. You have the time now to sit down and... and Get you a little notepad or a piece of paper or something and write out what you want in your emergency supplies. What kind of stuff, you know, what kind of food, what kind of canned food, what kind of dry food, you know, your paper products, all that kind of stuff. So you don't have to worry about doing dishes and everything. And, you know, what you need extra of that you've gone through more than what you thought you would have. Um, and just take the time and do it now. And then once you can and once the stores are restocked, implement it. Take the initiative and implement it and put it into place so you won't be in that same boat that most people were in just two to four weeks ago. Just a little something I wanted to throw out there. My name is Charles. This is Survival Preparedness for Beginners. And until next time, I'll catch you all on the flip side.